Hello, this is Leeds Weekly. I'm Anna Mitchell and this week we've got a little treat for you because we are broadcasting behind the scenes here at Leeds Television. Our first story today is the call from Leeds MP Greg Mulholland to boycott beer drinking. That's Carlsberg Beer. The Lib Dem has made the dramatic call to action in response to the closure of the Tetley Brewery here in the city. Tetley's Brewery at Brewery Wharf has been producing beer for 189 years, but it's due to close later this month with the loss of 140 jobs. I met Mr Mulholland in the Old Cock in Otley for an after work pint on Friday, an ideal location as the brand new pub opened last September and prides itself on its range of Leeds and regional beers. Over a locally brewed pint, Mr Mulholland told me why he has taken on the big boys. Well, um, it's a, a gorgeous summer's afternoon, it's a Friday after work. Uh, boycotting Carlsberg can't be a popular decision. Well, I think that people are very, very angry with the decision that Carlsberg UK took to close the, the Leeds Brewery, the Tetley's Brewery, after 189 years of brewing history and heritage in Leeds. It's a, a tragic day for, for brewing in Leeds. Um, and I'm afraid that, you know, Tetley's as a Leeds beer um, is now dead. The good news is, however, we've got some fantastic other breweries in Leeds and, you know, I'm in here in an independent pub enjoying some of those. So, yes, Tetley's is a thing of the past now, I'm afraid, but, you know, Leeds beer will live on. Obviously, you know, economic climate, the recession, um, increased costs, for, uh, rising tax, falling consumption, um, isn't it just a, an, an economic decision? Well, it, you're absolutely right, it is an economic decision um, made for purely selfish reasons to suit the interests of a, a huge company who have shown they have no interest in, in brewing beer and brewing Tetley's as a beer and someone else is actually going to be brewing it for them. Um, but what, what I think is interesting is that you have the other breweries that have popped up in the area, much smaller breweries, who are doing very well, who are actually taking on pubs, brewing great beer and increasing their sales. It can be done. If you're committed to, to great beer, um, you know, in Leeds and in other areas, it can be done. Carlsberg UK were not interested and they decided that they would make more money from selling the site and getting someone else to, to brew Tetley's famous beer for them. I mean, that says it all, I'm afraid. Let's remember, Tetley's has remained one of the biggest selling bitter brands in the whole country. At one stage, it was very clearly the number one. You know, it makes an awful lot of money. Um, it's just that it suited them to sell the site in Leeds for, you know, millions of pounds uh, and to get someone else to, to brew it for them. Other breweries, smaller breweries, aren't doing well, succeeding and increasing their sales. So it can be done at a much smaller level. So, you know, let, let's not kid ourselves. There's still a huge amount of money tied up in tech these. But, you know, it suited their interest to do things in, in a different way that doesn't even involve brewing Techley's beer. That says what their commitment to Techley's is. And that is a slap in the face, not just for, for Techley's as a brand, but for the city of Leeds, who I'm afraid to say that they betrayed very badly. Um, you are obviously the MP for Leeds Northwest. Um, how has your campaign been received amongst um, your constituency? Well, you can imagine that lots of beer drinkers, pub goers, you know, are equally passionate about this issue and are disgusted. Of course, Leeds Camera are, you know, very much at the forefront of the campaign. They led the campaign to try to save the Tetley's Brewery and also back the, the Boycott Carlsberg campaign. Of course, you'll get a lot of uh, people who drink beer, such as the fantastic beer here in the Old Cock in Otley, who would say they wouldn't touch Carlsberg lager with a barge pole anyway, and I'm, I'm one of those, frankly. But it's about embarrassing Carlsberg and showing that, you know, we're not going to take this decision lying down because it, it is a betrayal of Leeds and of Tetley's. It is the death of Tetley's as a brand um, and that's very sad but luckily we have lots of uh, great breweries now in the Leeds area to celebrate. I think that's what we need to now turn our attentions to. The Warpank Brewery, Briscoe's from Offley that I'm drinking here, the Leeds Brewery, the Ridgeside Brewery. You know there are some great beers coming out of Leeds now and that's what the beer lovers of Leeds will, will focus on. And uh, what will you be drinking in the future? Well, I'm currently drinking um, a very nice pint of Chevin Light, which is brewed by Briscoe's in Otley, and it's absolutely fantastic to be having that here in an independent free house, the Old Cock in Otley, which is a superb um, and fairly new pub, you know, which again shows that, you know, if you get it right, then people, people will come and spend their money. So, very, very nice to be drinking local beer, and that's the way it should stay. Cheers. A Leeds man who survived a rockfall while climbing a mountain in Skye has been speaking about his experience. 
Mike Stansfield, who has been receiving treatment at the Ragmore Hospital in Inverness, told of the terrifying moments loosened rocks hurtled down the well-trodden walk in Kirk Direct after becoming dislodged by another walker. Mr. Stansfield has a broken arm and has been told by doctors he will lose a finger once an infection has been treated. Now, this week, a new crown has been taken, that of Miss Leeds 2011. Kelsey Sutcliffe beat off 19 other finalists to take the title after an intensive audition process where candidates were assessed on presentation, confidence and ultimately their suitability to represent Leeds at the Miss England final. Well, a little earlier, Kelsey popped into the studio to tell us all. But I'm joined now by regional royalty, the newly crowned Miss Lees. Welcome, Kelsey. Kelsey Sutcliffe. Congratulations. Thank you. How does it feel? Um, a bit shell shocked, to be honest. It still hasn't stunk in. Even though it was a week ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. It's such, it's amazing. And what does it mean to you to be Miss Leeds? Um, well, I can't wait to go forward and represent Leeds and Miss England. Um, I think it's going to be experience, if anything. Um, I love Leeds as a city, so. Especially people, shopping, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> All about the shopping. <laughs> um, yeah, but I just can't, go, can't wait to go forward and represent. Okay, Leeds. so what um, people might not actually know what Miss Leeds does. So, what, what does Miss Leeds do? Well, I'll be going representing fundraising for charity. Um, we, as part of my role as the Miss Leeds fi finalist, we had to raise money for breast cancer, the Haven, um, and we all did fantastic in that. So, yeah. Charity work, a lot of charity work, representing the city to the best of my ability, really. Okay, so what have you been doing with the first week of fame? <laughs> the first week, not a lot, really. Um, it was a bank holiday. Cool. Celebrated in style with my friends. Good. Um, sh champagne, lots of champagne, and working, going out for lots of meals. <laughs> sounds perfect, sounds perfect. So what do you hope to achieve mm -hmm. in, your, uh, in your reign? In my reign, um, obviously get publicity for the city. Um, I'd like to, obviously I'd love to win Miss England, I'll try my best at that. Um, I, I just want to put myself out there and get as much, much publicity as possible for myself and the city. Sounds brilliant. So what is next for you then? Next, Miss England, the 18th and the 19th of July. Oh, um, so soon? Yeah, Really definitely. soon. So I'll be raising money for the um, Variety Club as part of that, mm -hmm. um, just trying to organise things for like that. So what happens, you go through to some heats, do you, and compete with other Miss Regionals, is that right? As far as I'm aware, yeah, we go through to the final, it's a two-day event, mm -hmm. um, the actual final takes place on the 19th. What do you think your chances are? I've got as much chance as everyone else, haven't I? Absolutely, definitely. Okay, well obviously we want to get behind you, Miss Leeds for Miss England, um, what can we do to support um, you? As far as I'm aware, you can vote for me, um, the details I'm not too sure of yet. Okay. Um, so just keep an eye on the website probably yes, is the best thing. Definitely. Okay, and uh, finally, can you tell us something uh, that nobody else knows about Miss Leeds? Oh, well, I'm a purple bit in karate, even though I look really girly girl. I am. Um, I can't say oh, that, can I? <laughs> 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 All right then, Kelsey, what's next for you? Next for me is the Miss England competition on the 18th and the 19th of July. Uh, after that, hopefully, I'll be lucky enough to get through to as a finalist, as the next top, next top model. Um, if your viewers would be kind enough to vote for me, if you go onto the next website, you type my name in, Kelsey Sutcliffe, all you have to do is press the vote button, type your email address, and your vote is automatically submitted. I would be really appreciative. Do Thank it, you. definitely, definitely. <laughs> we'll be doing that, definitely. <laughs> Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Again, and uh, hopefully it'll start to sink in at some point soon. Where's your crown, by the way? Oh, I wanted to see the crown. I haven't crown. I never brought my, my sash. Rubbish. You just can't get royalty these days. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, all the best. Thank and um, definitely Kelsey for Miss England, obviously. And uh, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Sport Now and Leeds Carnegie second row, John Pendlebury has agreed a new two-year contract. A host of players have left Leeds after their demotion from the Premiership. The 28-year-old says the start of pre-season and the arrival of a new head coach makes it a fresh start. Pendlebury is the first player to commit to Leeds Carnegie following their relegation from the Premiership, with 16 players having already left Headingley.
And finally, the weather. Well, sunny intervals for Saturday, top temperature 21 degrees. Sunday, the cloud returns and the sizzling temperatures we've seen this week will drop a top of just 14 degrees. And that's it for this week. As ever, there's more on the website, www.leadstelevision.co.uk. Follow us on Twitter at Leeds Television or find us on Facebook. Just search for Leeds Television. Have yourselves a very good week. I'm Anna Mitchell. I won't be here next week, but I will see you next time. Goodbye.